All right, let's see. Hey, how you doing guys? This is Mike with Digital Life. And my goal on this channel is to help you find the right phone, case, and face to fit your life and style. And today we're going to be talking about some screen protectors for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And it's been a while since I've been here. Um, I have been mainly focusing on the Note 10 Plus and everything to do with that. Um, it's been one of my favorite phones so far, um, but um, I had started a series. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet, uh, but back, I don't know, about four months ago, I started a series in the search for the perfect iPhone 11 Pro Max screen protector. And so in that search, I found a couple of different uh, screen protectors, and I've also put those screen protectors or the videos, um, not all of them. I have some that I haven't um, let you guys know about yet, but there's some videos already on my channel. Um, that tell you about the screen protectors that I, I've used with, with the iPhone, excuse me, with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And so, yeah, definitely one of my favorites uh, so far, the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Um, so I don't want to leave you guys hanging. I want to tell you guys, you know, what I found, um, what it is that, um, what's out there, uh, what you guys might not know about. And so uh, let's go ahead and get started on this. And so one of my favorite, uh, so for one of those for a screen protector, for anybody looking that for that screen protector that is great for budget, um, but yet uh, will you know add that perfect like feel to your phone. It's still uh, oleophobic. It has pretty good protection, but I'm thinking that it's not going to be too drop protective. But it's still good. And what's nice about it is the adhesive lays down, perfect, and you, you don't really get too many bubbles, if at all any. And if there are bubbles. Um, in the video for this screen protector, I did show you how to uh, take those bubbles out if you need to. All right, and let's see. Right here. Um, so this right here is a AM film, um, a glass screen protector, and it is for me one of the best that I've ever had um, as far as um, the cost versus uh, quality. Right, so this one, uh, go ahead and look this up. It's a, it's a great screen protector uh, for you, um, but this is not the best screen protector. <laughs> All right, um, uh, the next one I did was the Ultra uh, Invisible Shield, uh, the glass. All right, uh, that one was a really good one, but it's expensive, so it's forty nine dollars. Uh, so for somebody that doesn't mind spending a little bit more money, it gives you a little bit more coverage. Um, I would say it's more like a three D protection. Uh, so let's get to that first. You might want to know what D means. Like, so there's 2.5D, 3D. Uh, so there's 2D, 2.5, and 3D screen protectors. And uh, so the AM film is a uh, 2 uh, to 2.5D, meaning coverage. Okay, so the D stands for coverage. I don't know exactly what the D means, but whenever you see that D, that's what they're telling you is how much coverage it actually has on your screen. For me, I like a 3D screen protector. And it's kind of confusing because you would think that 3D is kind of like what, three dimensional, but that's not really what it, it means. Uh, so I would say the Vision Guard is a uh, 2.5 for sure. So it doesn't go all the way to the edge, um, but it gets close. And yeah, you guys can get a better view of that. Let's see if I can do uh, picture settings. Let me flip this around real quick. So you guys can see that better. So invisible shield glass vision guard plus. All right. And so, uh, so that's a really good one for you that you'll definitely want to consider. Uh, it's expensive. Yes, but it's really, really good. And it actually has a good drop protection and it doesn't scratch really easy. And so, uh, the next one would be if you're looking for that full coverage screen protector, then uh, definitely look up um, uh, Tethys. Uh, Tethys is an Amazon uh, favorite. And uh, the thing is with Tethys is, um, um, yeah, the thing is with Tethys, it's, it's, you get three of them in a package. Uh, it, so it's $9.99, uh, which is, is a good price, but it covers up not just, it covers up everything. All right, so you don't wanna cover up the, the camera. And that's the only thing is, if you're covering up the camera, um, then you're gonna lose quality in your picture. And so 
All right, so we're gonna have to speed this up because I'm gonna have to get out of here pretty soon. Uh, so, um, all right. Uh, so, but I wanted to get to this real quick so that way you guys can, uh, you know, that way I don't feel like I'm leaving you guys hanging. I've been, this has been in the back of my mind. I've been wanting to show you guys uh, these screen protectors so that way you guys can get a better idea of uh, what you have out there. So, um, uh, so yeah, Tethys, it's good. It's cheap. It has really good reviews on Amazon. I think it's got like over 2,000 reviews and almost five stars. So it, the the quality is, is decent. The packaging is amazing. Um, it lays on your screen perfectly. It has good adhesive, but the thing is, is it covers your, your uh, camera, okay? So, all right, this is a, a screen protector uh, made by a company called Mouse. All right, so Mouse, um, Mouse makes uh, cases and screen protectors and different accessories as well. Um, can you see a little bit better here? Uh, so this is a hybrid glass screen protector. It's it's good because for somebody you, some somebody that likes something that's plastic and um, glass at the same time because they both offer different things, right? So supposedly plastic is supposed to offer better drop protection but glass gives you that better feel and so uh, the main reason for not wanting to use something that is plastic is because most people don't want a more of a tacky feel or they don't want something that scratches easy well supposedly uh, they made both and the thing is is with mouse screen protectors um, this is a i would say this is more of a 2.5 d so kind of like the invisible shield so it has decent coverage um, but the thing is with this one is it feels mostly plastic and in order to find out what um, to find out if it had glass in it I had to like bend it in half and uh, see if it like actually could break and no you, it, you can bend it in half and it won't crack or anything so it's I would say it's mainly plastic so there are there is glass like inside like in between the two plastic sheets like so there's so there's adhesive and then there's oh no so there's plastic which is on top, and then the glass in the middle, and then adhesive on the bottom. Uh, but the thing is, you're still touching uh, gla or plastic, and that's what it feels like too. So I don't recommend this. It is about 20 bucks, I think, on uh, Mouse's website. I'm thinking that it does probably cover and protect your phone really well, but the, the thing as well, it's thin. It's it feels like there's almost nothing on there. You can see through it. It looks like there's a sticker on your phone. Your, the colors come through really really well. Um, it's good for that. Uh, but when you go to slide up, it it on the edge of your phone right here on the bottom, your thumb catches on it. And this screen protector is one of the biggest dust magnets I've ever um, seen on a screen protector in my life. Like it'll pretty much if you don't want any dust in your pockets use this screen protector it'll take it all out um it'll find that dust so and it'll also scrape that skin off your fingers so then it'll have more dust accumulating on the bottom so um yeah the hybrid glass is a no for me um because of what i value in a screen protector okay if you're looking for a glass or if you're looking for a plastic screen protector Take a look at the hybrid glass. You, you, I don't think you'll get any better really than that. Um, I haven't tried all of them, all the screen protectors, but I think that's a really good one. All right, um, so, so far we've gone through AM film. This is a 2D screen protector. Um, it's like it, it, you get two or three of them in the box uh, for like maybe eight bucks. Invisible shield for somebody that want, doesn't mind spending a little bit more money, that's 2.5D. Tethys, full coverage for about ten dollars on Amazon. Uh, it covers up the camera, and hybrid glass uh, by Mouse. And you have to get this on their website. I don't think it's sold on Amazon. All right. And so, the one I'm using right now is. Are you guys ready? Can I get a drum roll or anything like that? I do need to add a drum roll to this uh, stream uh, software. I'm using Ecam, by the way. I don't know if you guys have heard of Ecamm, but it's really good stuff. All right, so Flow Lab. Okay, so Flow Lab. You cannot get this on Amazon, and I'll go in later um, and add Flow Lab to uh, the description here. And so that way you guys can go and, uh, and check this out. It's really good. It's about $19, 
and it covers basically um, everything uh, that there is um, to cover on your phone. So like it doesn't go all the way to the edges. It still leaves. I got to get rid of these notifications here. Sorry guys. And so it, it goes all the way to the edges there. If you guys can see it. Um, so yeah, and it, and it leaves the camera open. Okay. So you, you can see that for sure. Right. So it leaves the camera open and it goes almost all the way to the edges of if it, if only I could get it to focus on that. But it almost goes the edge. Like I said, I keep saying that, uh, but it, it is really, really good. Uh, I, I, I think that this would be the one for me. There's one that I'm going to show you in a second that it, it might be better, but I haven't tried it on yet because I wanted to show you guys this before I took it off. Um, so Flow Lab also makes a screen protector like Tethys and, and like this one that I have on the phone right now, which is really, really nice. Um, it doesn't scratch really easy. It doesn't uh, smudge really easy. It's easy to clean, um, super clear, and you can hardly tell there's anything on it really. And the little light on the top right there is scanning uh, for a face to see if I would need to unlock it. Um, but Flow Lab also makes a screen protector that covers up, like Tethys, it covers up the camera. Okay, so if you want something that is full coverage, all that it would be leave open is the speaker on the top, then you have that option. Okay, um, so Flow Lab, go look that up. Um, if you are, if you don't want to wait for me to put it in the description, uh, go ahead and take a look at that, and uh, find. Um, They'll, they'll ship it to you uh, from their website. Like I said, you can't get it where, anywhere else, really. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a good brand if you want to uh, check that out. Um, so far, I think that that is mainly the perfect screen protector for me. I, I would love to be able to have a screen protector that covers a little bit more of the top of that doesn't, and that doesn't cover the camera, maybe. Um, that would be nice. And I don't know if that would inter interfere with the camera, though. So... Last but not least, I need to show you guys this. So Whitestone Dome Glass. It's been one of the best screen protectors that I've, I've used on my Note 10 Plus. And I got it actually first, my, the first time ever, on my OnePlus 7 Pro. And when I put that on there, I couldn't believe um, the quality and the clarity. Uh, for some reason, I'm, there it goes. The quality and the clarity of the, the screen protector that this company has made. It's, um, they, they first started making glass screen protectors from where I noticed. Um, I don't think it was the first, but that's, it's when I noticed them for the Pixel uh, 2XL. So the Pixel 2XL had a curved screen and there was nothing to put on it. And that was what Whitestone Dome Glass targeted was people that had curved screens because curved glass was becoming a thing, right? And so the problem with curved screens and having a curved glass screen protector for that curved screen is it's hard to get glass to be perfectly rounded, right? To, to fit the screen that you have. There's always gonna be some sort of imperfection. So you can't really put a dry adhesive on a screen protector like that, like you could do on an, for an iPhone, like Flow Lab does for their iPhone screen protectors. So Whitestone Dome Glass made an, um, a glass screen protector that is curved that you can add adhesive to, right? So you can add it yourself and then you let it cure with a UV light, all right? Uh, so that is definitely going to be something that I'm going to try out. I'm gonna see how much coverage it has. I'm thinking it's gonna be really good, uh, but I can't say for sure, excuse me, for sure. All right, um, so this has been a, um, I know, a short stream, and I'm, I'm gonna be over with it already. Um, I don't have anybody in the comments um, saying anything. I would comment back to you guys if you had any questions at all. Um, but that's been it guys. Uh, I think that I have found the perfect screen protector for the iPhone 11 Pro Max and they do make they do make screen protectors for the iPhone 11 and I think the iPhone 11 Pro not for sure um, but take a look at their website and uh, let me know what you think if you try it out and uh, that's it guys and real quick I want to tell you what the Tech Wilt show is. So the Tech Wilt show is um, 
it's an abbreviation. It's what I learned today about tech, but it also, it's a it's kind of a play on words. So it's also talking about tech wilting. And so I, what I, what I want to do on this channel is to help your technology to keep from wilting. So that's why I have this show. Okay. So I can also, I can talk about two things, talk about how to keep your technology up to date. So it stays current in your life and stays current with your style. And also, uh, to tell you what I learned about technology today, I picked up the I the iPhone, the um, the Galaxy Samsung Galaxy S20, and I'm going to be doing some videos on that. I'm going to be installing a Whitestone Dome glass screen protector on that, and there's uh, and putting a, a case on that as well, or cases to see how well cases fit on that phone. Um, that's been kind of an issue. There's been a lot of things going on uh, with this fingerprint sensor uh, working with. Um, white stone dome glass or or any other glass or any other screen protector just um, mainly what it is is it's just a kind of a the cool it's cool technology there's a, a fingerprint sensor inside the glass it's called a sonic fingerprint sensor and it is problematic uh, reading your finger through the glass all right so I've been doing is uh, kind of a series I haven't really named it that on that so stay there buddy stay there look stay there okay stay there go to mommy Go to mommy. So, all right, yeah, that, that's my son. He just woke up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so, all right, guys, that's it. This has been Mike with The Digital Life. Thank you for letting me guide you or help guide you through this digital world. And if you like this video, subscribe um, and click the little bell icon. You'll be notified for any future videos that I do like this in the future. All right, guys, have a good Friday and a good rest of your weekend. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Okay, talk to you later. Talk to you later. All right, I already said that. Bye. <laughs>